Oy, 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 the family stuff, right? I'm okay today. I got to keep telling you that, but I got to talk about it. I got to pe let people know that it can be navigated. You know, parents did the best they could. Well, back then I questioned that, but <laughs> I'm okay now. I laugh. I make people laugh. I have fun. I'm able to sit down with a girl and listen to her stuff and and try to encourage and direct and suggest and and uh, work the steps with them and uh, yeah. So I, if I wasn't okay, I couldn't do all that work and I couldn't sit here and talk to you guys about it. Though it is like hard. I'm gonna tell you something. It was like three hours trying to write that down today. So we're gonna switch to something fun. We're going to switch to cheerleading. Okay. Um, I got in with the girls in a sophomore year starts and I'm like trying to be in with the cool kids. All right. Like, you know, the people on student council and not the troublemakers, not those people. Cause God knows I could have fallen in with them real easy. Cause <laughs> anyway, so I uh, made friends with some of the girls on the cheerleading squad and went to a couple of games and God, I wanted to wear that outfit. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be a part of, I wanted to just be somebody other than me. <laughs> and this kind of like led to other times where I would be the chameleon. And so that was another little theme running through my life was being a chameleon to fit in with people because I just needed to do that. Okay. And so I'm um, trying to do, you know, do, 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 trying out for the team. And a couple of my friends were on the team, Peggy, Diane, Phyllis. And they, a lot of them lived on the other side of the high school, on Upper Freehold Township side. And that made it hard to get together and learn cheers with them after school. So I try out and I'm like, yeah, I'm so enthusiastic. Like I got the enthusiasm. However, I was not born with the rhythm or the coordination. So I'm like, eh, eh, uh, uh, you know, the, you know, all the things were, you know, I could wiggle it, but I can't wiggle it in sync. So guess what? I didn't make this year leading squad. However, they made me their little mascot. And one time they gave me like this gold megaphone and made me an honorary cheerleader for a short period of time. I was, I didn't get to wear the uniform, but, um, I was really cool because I was accepted and, um, I sucked at it, <laughs> but I was accepted and, and that was like the class clown thing, right? But still I was in with the girls and that, <sighs> free, 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 free to be, you know, in with the girls. And uh, that's important in high school. You, you want to have something that validates you. And I couldn't join, like I said on the other video, I couldn't join the drama club because there was no after school bus and there was no way my mom could get from where she worked. To pick, that wasn't even not going to happen kind of thing. Um, really enthusiastic about acting still but couldn't do it now if I was in Garfield I would have been in several plays by then so that was um cheerleading and oh what I want to finish the cheerleading off with something really good um one year well it was September was my birthday this is before tryouts I think and I had made friends with all the girls and trying to you know in gym class trying to learn everything and we had three lunches, I think, A, A lunch, B lunch, C lunch. And I can't remember, don't, not, it's not there. It's gone. It's scrubbed <laughs> from the memory banks. But I went in lunch and, um, the whole lunchroom sang happy birthday. And it was the cheerleader girls that put them up to it and arranged it ahead of time. And we had a little school, um, store where you could buy like, you know, the school stuff. I could never afford any of it, you know, and you paid for your lunches through the ticket thing. And, and they had bought me, um, something Allentown. I don't know. And, oh, oh, it was a gym bag. That's right. And it was black and it had the red bird on it. And, uh, yeah, I cried like a baby because I didn't get that at home. I mean, you know, it just didn't happen. I can't even remember one birthday. I'm sure that there was some note of my birthday, but, um, yeah, don't, 
that birthday at high school, that was from heaven. That was like angels. Because, uh, yeah, a little tear jerk and happy there. And, uh, yeah, because um, the thing about my mom was very difficult. And those other girls kind of all chipped in and sistered me. They couldn't mother me, but they sistered me, especially Peggy. And I heard that Peggy ran off and became a missionary and lives in South America somewhere. And everybody from class reunions tries to find her, but nobody can. But Peggy, if you ever see this or you see it from heaven, I love you. Thank you for my birthday, you and Phyllis. You did it. And I love you. And I didn't, I wasn't a cheerleader, but you made me feel a part of. God bless you. Well, I might say goodnight because they were two hard ones today. If I do another one, well, I'll say goodnight and God bless. If I do another one, it's a bonus. <laughs> Alrighty.